Hi everyone, Laura here, welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is a special one as it's not my usual paper crafting tutorial. I will be making my favorite apple pie. Let's start with the ingredients for the dough. So you will need unsalted butter, plain flour, one lemon and one egg. Dice 210 grams of butter, measure 14 and a half ounces of flour, add a bit of salt to it, separate an egg yolk and squeeze one tablespoon of lemon juice. In a bowl, mix the flour and butter by hand until it resembles breadcrumbs. Add the lemon juice, the egg yolk and 2-3 tablespoons of cold water. Mix everything until the dough comes together. Wrap the dough in cling film and chill in the fridge for about 45 minutes or so. Meanwhile, preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. For the filling, you will need 3 Bramley apples and 6 other apples like Brayburn or Pink Lady, which are sweeter, caster sugar, cinnamon, some lemon zest and half of lemon juice. Peel the apples. core and chop them. Place everything in a saucepan. Don't forget to add lemon zest and lemon juice. I kind of forgot to do that while filming. Simmer the apples on a medium heat for about 10-15 minutes, then leave it to cool a bit. Take the dough out from the fridge and cut in two. You need about two thirds for the base and a third for the crust. Start rolling your dough. Don't give up if it starts crumbling, as it will be better while working it with a rolling pin. Line the tray with the dough and trim the edges. Roll the rest of the dough.
and cut it into strips. Spoon in the filling. Then start creating the lettuce crust by waving the strips under and over every other strip. You can do that on uh, baking paper and turn it over the pie if it's easier for you. Or do it directly on the top of the pie like I did. Don't worry if some strips will break, because you can fix them with a bit of dough. For the glaze you need one egg, a tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon of milk. Beat all the ingredients. Then brush all over the pie. Bake the pie for 35-40 minutes or until the pastry is golden and firm. After taking the pie out of the oven, I sprinkled a bit of icing sugar on top. You can serve it with cream, custard or maybe vanilla ice cream, however you like. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. If you liked this tutorial and want to be notified about my future videos, 
don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you here again soon. Bon appétit!